La Jolla is one of our favorite beaches in San Diego. Not only is it beautiful, but it gives you the opportunity to swim with the leopard shark. Every year, thousands of leopard sharks make their way to the warm, shallow waters of La Jolla for breeding season. These sharks are beautiful and pretty much harmless, so you don't even have to be scared of them. In fact, one of the more dangerous things in the area is the parking enforcement. Be sure you pay attention to the signs or you will get a parking ticket. The ideal viewing area for the leopard sharks is down this narrow alleyway just to the left of the Marine Room restaurant. As you make your way towards the end of the alley, it will open up to a really picturesque beach and you should find yourself right about here. The best viewing spots that we have found so far are from the buoys that line up with the corner of the restaurant all the way over to the Devil's Slide Reef that is right in front of the sea caves. One of the biggest challenges here is coming on a day that has perfect ocean conditions. The waves can get pretty turbulent here and not only does it make it difficult to swim, but it also churns up the sand and drops the visibility way down. If the waves are slapping up against this wall, visibility is probably going to be pretty low. A lot of people store their stuff on the windowsills of the marine room. I've never seen them complain, but I don't think you're supposed to do it. There is a better option in the alleyway. But enough about all these tips, it's time to go out and see some sharks. We started our swim by heading out past the buoy where I had my first thrilling encounter with the La Jolla V shark. After that, we made a hard turn and headed straight towards the sea caves. And that's when we found what we were looking for, the leopard shark. And not only did we see one shark, but if I had to guess, we saw probably around 30 this day. We even got to see a barrel roll. One other tip for success when you're swimming with the leopard sharks is that you need to swim. A lot of the areas are shallow, but if you're walking around, you're going to be stirring up the sand on the bottom and dropping your visibility down. There's also a chance that if you're walking around, you're going to step on a stingray, which trust me, you don't want to do that either. As amazing as it is swimming with the leopard sharks, they are not the only really cool inhabitants of the area. There are also guitar fish, bat rays, and there's even rumored to be a local turtle that we have not run into just yet. Obviously the ocean is a very big place, so who you will see out there may vary, but we've never had any shortage of wildlife when we went. One thing that you're going to want to keep a lookout for while you're swimming is the kayak tours that are heading towards the sea cave. A lot of people on these tours are first time kayakers and you don't want to end up as some sort of an ocean speed bump. It's a good thing that these sharks don't seem to have any harmful intentions towards humans because they are not small fish. They can range from four to five and even sometimes six feet long. The vast majority of the sharks that you will encounter here are females that have come to give birth. And bonus fact, they can have between seven and 30 baby sharks at a time. These sharks have a pretty long lifespan and can live up to around 30 years old. If you want to learn more about these sharks, we have lots of interesting facts about them on our website. If you decide to visit, please be sure to be respectful to all of the sea life that you encounter. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when we make new videos. Check us out on Instagram at thatadventurelife underscore official. And for all the information about how you can go swimming with the leopard sharks, head on over to thatadventurelife.com.